Blessings, everyone. This is Chris Kendall from therawadvantage.com, registered holistic nutritionist, raw food lifestyle coach, and raw chef. Today, I'm excited to share with you a little presentation on the introduction to the benefits of raw food nutrition. Let's get into it. Baby, I like it raw. Raw Advantage likes it raw. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. All right, guys, now before I get into the presentation, in case you don't know much about me, I just wanna let you know, my name is Chris Kendall. I'm from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Yeah, I'm doing an introduction to the benefits of raw food nutrition, even in the winter. I've been a raw foodist for over 15 years. I've been into health and nutrition for 20 years. And really, I got into this whole scene because I was falling apart. I was depressed. I had joint ache because I had, I had candida, chronic candida, and I just wasn't feeling myself. I wasn't happy. I realistically didn't even really want to live anymore. And I started looking into first yoga, and then that pointed me in the direction of vegetarianism and nutrition having a big impact on your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual well-being. I first found a book called Fit for Life, which really opened me up into the eye of kind of raw food nutrition, holistic nutrition, food combining. And I can honestly say since then, almost 20 years now, I've only had two sick days. This just streamlined me into a direction of more whole foods, more plant-based foods, eventually going vegan at the same time I was in school to become a holistic nutritionist. Uh, during that time, I met another raw foodist who had been raw food for over 24 years, Dr. Doug Graham, and went raw overnight. My whole life changed. Before that, I was doing it for myself. I wanted to skateboard more. I wanted to jump off buildings and heal as fast as I could. No interest in using my schooling as a profession. But after going raw, literally within 24 hours, I knew this was my calling. This is what I want to do with my life. I realized that I wanted to really share this message of health and help people see how amazing they can feel. And not only that, but through helping themselves, how they can help the animals, the planet, and all the other people in their life they love, leading a great example. For the last 10 years, I've worked full-time as a raw food lifestyle coach, raw chef, and yoga teacher, traveling to festivals, putting on my own events, speaking, and helping other people achieve higher states of health, happiness, and connection to themselves and nature. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna spread that out. I've seen so many people reverse chronic diseases, feel better, look better, and just achieve higher heights in all of their goals. And I want that for you guys. So hopefully this empowers you, this presentation empowers you to take better care of yourself. And if you wanna learn a lot more, maybe you know go for some coaching from someone like myself or Dr. Rick and Karen Dina. And if you wanna dive headlong into mastering raw food nutrition, learning the ins and outs on a college level kind of course with raw food nutrition, then I'd recommend you check out Mastering Raw Food Nutrition with Dr. Rick and Karen Dina. I've taken that course and this presentation is actually a part of that course as well. So let's jump right into the presentation. Welcome everybody to the introduction to the benefits of raw food nutrition presentation. My name's Chris Kendall, registered holistic nutritionist, raw food lifestyle coach, and raw chef. Who here would like to have more energy, more vitality, reduce your risk of disease, and achieve optimal body weight all at the same time? Maybe you're interested in making some changes in your own life in order to feel better and be healthier. Chances are if you're interested in having more energy, losing weight, feeling younger, or improving some health conditions, you're not alone. Let's take a look at where we're headed as a society. Did you know that over two thirds of the population in the United States can be classified as overweight or obese? This number grows every single year along with our waistlines. Let's take a look. So looking at this first slide, in 1990, we can see the majority of the United States is at that 10% to 14% overweight zone, with some being under 10% and just a few with no data collected. Just 10 short years later in the year 2000, you can see the increase in the obesity rate going from 15 to 19% for almost half the population and 20 to 24% for the other half, with just one state being in that 10 to 14% range. Moving into 2010, we can see this trend continuing. A large percentage of the population now in that 20 to 24% range, the largest part being at that 20 to 29% range, and a large part of the population being above 30%. After this chart, there is still increases going on and we'll have the 2020 next year. Unfortunately, there are a whole host of diseases that accompany this growing trend, including type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure, all of which are major risk factors for heart disease, the biggest killer in the United States and many other modernized nations. 
Does anyone know the fastest growing population category for type 2 adult onset diabetes? Sadly, it's children. This is largely due to the fact that the number of overweight and obese children is growing in record numbers. As these children become young adults, these disease processes begin to manifest in greater numbers. For example, an October 2007 article from the AP Washington Times reports that from 2001 to 2006, the percentage of young adults aged 20 to 44 taking high blood pressure medications increased by 21% from 7% to 8%. The number of young adults taking anti-cholesterol medications increased by 68% in the same time frame from 2.5% to 4%. This is an all too common trend we keep seeing more and more of these days. Now some people have attempted to come up with answers or monopolize on these problems. As a result, we have a variety of diets, supplements, and miracle cures that often have big promises and little returns. Has anyone ever heard of the zone? Atkins or South Beach diets? High protein, low carb diets? Eat right for your blood type? All these fad diets, are they really working? As we speak, the number of overweight and obese people continue to rise. In fact, we're the first society ever to go on a diet and actually gain weight. One of the many reasons why most diets do not work in the long run is because they're diets. Just look at the first three letters of the word diet and that gives us a clue. Die. T Typically, one will go on a diet to lose the desired weight, all too often feeling hungry and deprived the whole time. Then eventually they go off the diet, back to the lifestyle that they had prior to starting the diet, the one that got them to where they did not want to be in the first place, and then they usually gain that weight back, and oftentimes more. There are many reasons why people make the food choices that they do. This includes convenience, as so many of us are busy with work and family activities, that sometimes it just seems easier to put something in the microwave or go out to eat. I now know differently. Then there's taste. We all like food that tastes good. If something tastes good, then we'll be more inclined to eat it on a regular basis. The foods that are the healthiest for us seemingly are not always the foods that we like the most. If this was true, then there would be less of an obesity epidemic in this country. I think that most of us know what foods are good for us. For example, I'm sure that many of you have seen the five a day ads on TV and or in the magazines. They tell us that we should get at least five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables per day for better health. Whether or not we make these choices is another story. It's easy to know what to do. It's not so easy to do what you know. Fact. You can't deprive yourself into health. Fact. Willpower is not infinitely sustainable. This is where I come in. My specialty is teaching about the benefits of raw and living foods. Have you ever heard of eating raw and or living foods or a raw or living foods diet? Raw and living foods are foods such as fresh fruits, vegetables, sprouts, nuts and seeds that have not been heated above 104 to 121 degrees Fahrenheit. When we eat more of these fresh, ripe and raw foods instead of less healthful foods, we simultaneously avoid many of the unhealthful ingredients of more processed foods, such as too much refined carbohydrates, saturated in trans fats, excess cholesterol, salt, preservatives, etc. Let's take a quick look at a few of the beneficial properties of the raw and living foods approach. You might even find you float. Okay, probably not. First, let's look at calorie density. Foods such as fresh fruits and vegetables that are high in water and fiber have a low amount of calories per serving because both water and fiber have weight and volume, but no calories. What this means is that these foods fill you up so you feel full and satisfied without too many calories that lead to gaining weight. Various studies have shown that when people eat foods low in caloric density, they can eat as much as they want and still achieve their optimal body weight. Fresh fruits and vegetables keep you full and satisfied with just the right amount of calories. I mean, check me out. I literally ate my pants off. I'm just wearing a loincloth. I eat all I want and I'm fit and trim. This illustration explains this well. Looking at the two stomach pictures, the stomach on the left contains raw plant foods and the stomach on the right contains typical modern foods. Both stomachs contain the same volume or weight of food. If you were to consume 500 to 600 calories of raw foods, 
depending on the type of raw foods consumed, the volume of food consumed would be roughly equivalent to 1,500 calories of typical modern processed foods. Another way of looking at the same thing is that if you're restricting calories by portion control, the most common way of dieting, you can't eat as much typical modern fare as you ate raw and living foods. Filling up on fresh fruits and vegetables is a much easier way to reduce your calorie intake than having to restrict yourself, which also often leads to deprivation. Eating 500 to 600 calories of modern processed foods will not fill your stomach nearly as much as 500 to 600 calories of raw plant foods. Consider, here is 200 calories of a commonly consumed candy or processed food. Now here on this next slide is not even 200 calories worth of raw zucchini pasta topped with a fabulous heirloom tomato lime basil avocado dressing. Which plate of food would you really rather eat? Now let's get into fiber. In addition to bulking up food and decreasing caloric density, the fiber in raw and living foods has many other beneficial properties. Amongst them, fiber helps to regulate blood sugar by allowing the carbohydrates in food to be released into the bloodstream more gradually. Fiber helps to lower your cholesterol. It's not just oat bran that does this. Fiber also keeps everything moving through the intestines, helping us to feel light and energized. Certain types of fiber serve as food for probiotics living in our intestinal microbiome. We all know that we need vitamins and minerals. Raw and living foods are very high in vitamins and minerals. Foods such as these have a very high nutrient per calorie ratio, and they help keep us satisfied on fewer calories in addition to the high water and fiber content. On the other hand, when we eat simply empty calorie processed foods, we remain hungry as our body is still seeking the nutrients it needs. We all know many of the other benefits of vitamins and minerals. Even Dottie here knows. How about phytonutrients? Raw and living foods are very high in phytonutrients. You may have heard of some of these, such as lycopene, beta carotene, and chlorophyll. There are a host of others as well. They're mostly well known for their antioxidant and cancer protective properties. Antioxidants. Many phytonutrients also act as antioxidants. Antioxidants counteract the damaging effects of free radicals, which are known to contribute to the aging process in many ways. We've all heard of enzymes. Raw and living foods are high in food-based enzymes. Enzymes are needed to digest our food. Once food gets heated above 104 to 121 degrees Fahrenheit, the food enzymes present in them start to be deactivated. When we eat raw and living foods, the enzymes present in the food give the body a head start in the digestive process, which means less energy expended in digestion and more energy left over for you to feel healthy and vital. Papaya and pineapple here have two protein digesting enzymes, papain and bromelain. Alkalinity. Raw and living foods help to maintain the proper alkaline pH of the bloodstream, which is very beneficial to the body in a number of ways. As your diet starts to include more raw and living foods, you'll most likely start to notice more energy, a lighter feeling, and greater overall sense of well-being. You'll be giving your body more of the nutrients it needs to create optimal health and less of the things that interfere with health and well-being. People eating this way usually find that their weight normalizes over time without feeling hungry or deprived. It's not just another diet, but a healthful, delicious, and most importantly, sustainable way of changing your eating habits that you can happily maintain for a lifetime. By learning new, enjoyable eating habits, the old habits won't seem so hard to leave behind. Once again, one of the main reasons why people do not succeed on health programs is because they think the food does not taste as good or that they won't eat satisfying amounts. And after a while, people go back to eating foods that they think taste good and are familiar to them. With my free Raw Recipes app with over 100 free recipes linked below, you can easily find tons of recipes you love and that love you back. Choose from amazingly delicious foods like these pancakes and wraps and lasagnas, pizzas, potato salads, burgers, sweet treats, and so much more. Raw fruits are really nature's fast food. If you are interested in losing weight and learning how to keep it off or gaining energy and vitality while reducing your risk for many chronic diseases, then a properly planned raw food diet is right for you. One of the best ways to increase your success with any endeavor is quality education. 
If you wish to further your nutritional education with a college-level year-long course, I really recommend Dr. Rick and Karen Dina's Mastering Raw Food Nutrition course. This presentation is a part of me finishing their course, and I've learned a ton even though I've been studying nutrition for 20 years and raw food specifically for over 15 years. Learn more at rawfoodeducation.com and in the links below. Thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope to connect with you very soon and assist you in any way I can on your path to better health. I'm happy to help via online coaching and support in various formats and plans. Learn more at therawadvantage.com. I also highly recommend Dr. Rick and Karen Dean of rawfoodeducation.com for in-depth consultation with professional quality lab work. This may be the end of this presentation but it's the beginning of the rest of your life. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the presentation. It brought up some new information for you and also empowers you to take action, you know, to start adding more fresh fruits and vegetables into your life so you can experience the benefits of those and all the nutrition contained within. As I mentioned before, I really wanna let you guys know, if you wanna dive deeper, consider coaching with someone like myself or Dr. Rick and Karen Dina. And if you wanna learn a ton college level information on raw food nutrition, a full one year course, I highly recommend that you check out Mastering Raw Food Nutrition with Dr. Rick and Karen Dina. I, I took the whole course, I absolutely loved it. Even though I've been doing this, like I said, I've been searching nutrition for 20 years, I learned an absolute ton and it's really helped me and it's gonna help all the people that I coach, talk with, my friends and family, and I know it could have a huge impact on you and all the people out around you rippling out. That's how we spread the message, right? Bring it in ourselves and share it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, you know, like for more videos, stuff like that. And as always, wishing you much. Peace, love, and seasonal fruit. Mastering raw food nutrition. Continue learning and growing. Ooh, don't forget to check out my raw recipes playlist in the top left, the video just for you in the top right, subscribe for more videos in the bottom right, and get your three free ebooks in the bottom left. Grab your free raw recipe app available on iPhone and Android with over 100 free raw recipes, common fruit and vegetable calorie breakdown, frickin' raw some food combining chart, shopping cart function, and so much more.